everyone, and welcome to tutorial number two of the Learn How to Make a Hangman Game in Python series. <clears throat> now, if you recall, in tutorial number one of this series, we mostly did um, the basic setup, such as the list of words, and we programmed the computer to choose a random word, and we set up a few lists and variables. In this tutorial, we're going to be mainly focusing on the graphics. So, I already have a few graphics copied, um, and I'm just going to quickly paste it into the program. Now, one thing that you should know before we start is that the graphics should be coded outside the while loop because we have a few print statements included with the graphics, and if these print statements are included are in the while loop, um, then the print statement is, is going to keep on repeating and the thing that we need to print out is going to keep on printing over and over and over again and it's just going to waste our memory and space. So we want to um, paste or type in the code of the graphics outside the while loop and I would prefer before the while loop. So I'm just going to quickly paste it. And another thing we should know is we are going to be having our graphics in list style or list form. So each of the elements of the list are going to be graphics. So I'm just going to quickly paste that in. We have an error because this is an unexpected and I just quickly fix that. So as you can see, I have a list and the name of my list is hangman. And each of my elements are the graphics. Um, the first element, as you can see, is the empty gallows, and as the elements go on, the body parts are added. So you can just quickly copy me if you like, or you could come up with your own graphics. But for this example, we're just going to be using these quick graphics. Now, whenever you are playing a hangman game, whether it's on paper or whether it's on the computer like we are doing right now, the starting gallows or the empty gallows is usually always printed at the beginning before you start. So that is what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be printing out the empty gallows without any body parts of the man, the starting out the empty gallows when the program is run and when the game starts. And to do that, we're obviously going to use the print statement. So what we're going to be printing out is this element of the list. We're going to be printing out this element of the list. And if you watch my earlier video on, if you watch my earlier video on lists in Python, you'll know that to pick out a specific element of a list, you need to type in the name of the list and then in square brackets, the index of the list. So that is what I'm going to do right now. Just type in the name of the list, which is hangman. And in square brackets, we are going to be typing in the index of the list. Sorry, we're going to be typing in the index of the element that we want to print out. And we want to print out the first element. And index is basically a way of saying the position of the element. And the index starts off at zero. It never starts out at one, it always starts out at zero. So the first element of your list, like in this case, the empty gallows is at position zero and its index is zero. The second element of your list is at position one, the index is one, and the third element of your list is at index two or position two and so forth. So um, the index of what we want to print out is zero since it is the first element of the list. So we just quickly add that um, into the square brackets, the index zero. So now we're just going to quickly save this and run this. And as you can see, the starting gallows will be printed out when the game is started and when the game has run. Now, we're, going to, we're just going to do one more quick thing before we end the tutorial. And that is we're going to be creating a variable that sets the number of attempts that the user has, attempts or tries. So I'm just going to set this variable to tries. I'm just going to set it to be equal to six. Actually, I'm going to name it attempt. Attempt is equal to six. Um, and the reason we made it six attempts is because there's six times you can get the question incorrect before the 
um, hat, man is fully hanged. As you can see, the first is the head, second is the torso, third is the arm, fourth is the other arm, fifth is one of the legs, and sixth is the other leg. So that is why we set our variable attempts for the player to six. Now, thank you for watching tutorial number two of the Make a Hangman game in Python series. Um, please watch my next few videos and subscribe to the channel if you like if you like the video and if you want more content and drop it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and learned a lot. And I will be back soon with another video on my Python programming channel very soon.